I'm building a townhouse in Bloxburg. This masterpiece includes custom stairs. Never thought I'd be doing math for a video game. Dirt stained carpets. It looks good. And somehow, my IQ. I took an IQ test. Like a real one. But guys, Bloxburg is becoming free. It is indeed. Then you wasted 25 Robux, but you didn't though. Because then you gotta play it before the people who didn't have Robux or didn't wanna buy blocks whenever blocks becomes free you'll get rewards for it. obviously it's not money but you still get something within the game why do you have 43 friends like on roblox a lot of you i see they have like they maxed out their friends 200 friends i'm like you're just spamming your friends which if that's what you want to do no problem that's just not me here's some tips to earning money okay i play a simulator it give you experience of hardcore grinding i can grind just fine every game pass is good it just depends on how you play Bloxburg. okay that is true i did a video telling you which game pass you should get depending on what type of player you are it's the perfect video no the triangle doesn't go big enough okay, it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine i'm gonna figure out a way to fix it later you're my sunshine my only sunshine it was like my favorite song when i was three years old is it time for chats with tesla oh my gosh yes i should i shall start it. welcome to chats with tesla where i build and talk about random thoughts on this episode of chats with tesla i have four rants but one of them is kind of like a rant story it's kind of a mix i feel like books should do what youtube videos do they should have retention because i'm reading a book for school right now and let me tell you this book is a bore and this is just based off like the last five books i read because i haven't read a book since like second grade every book starts with introducing the character introducing whatever like just get to the story like if i'm reading the first page and it's like billy was on the couch and he's watching his favorite show for the fifth time i don't care okay oh, and the other thing is titles and covers look if you look at a youtube video the title is like, i stranded on a private island for seven days but i promise you if that video was turned into a book it's just gonna be called island with a single island on a black Cover. Wait, 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 I thought, hold on. Wait, from here it looks like I put the triangle in, right? But turns out I didn't. It was just my perspective, because I go down here, there's a hole. Okay, we both see a triangle here, right? The back. Okay, it's there. Move it down. What? What? Oh, I'm an idiot. It's because I have roof toggle off. Here's what I need. Bloxburg, are you listening? I need this thing, but instead of a three by three, I need it as a, a two by three or a one by three. Is that a custom roof? It looks so awesome. It is indeed a custom roof because I am so awesome. Any tips to get good in building specifically? So you should watch my planning builds video. It's a good video. I go into like the detail of how to plan what to do and how to get inspiration and stuff. Say hi, Louisa. I mean, I guess. I guess I'll say it. How did I make my YouTube profile pic? I didn't. I I had someone do it for me. You know how they did it? Digital drawing, which I can't do. I know this is supposed to be a townhouse. And so you're asking, why is there windows here? Look, it's a townhouse, but it's like a corner townhouse. Can't play Bed Wars on PC. Oh my gosh, I have a thing about this. It's actually in my chat with Tesla. I pretty much only play Bloxburg. And here's why. If I start playing any other games, like I want to play Minecraft, but here's the issue. If I start playing Minecraft, I'm going to be obsessed with it. I'm going to be addicted to it, but I don't want to like... I wanna be productive with my time. But also the game is a paid game, so it takes a little more effort to actually get the game. <laughs> That's why I haven't got it yet. People ask me, you should try this game, you should try this game. I'm like, no, I, I can't, I really can't. Cause I know I'll like it too much. <laughs> Which sounds like a ridiculous reason. Like, who doesn't play a game because they know they'll like it too much? Can you just stream while you build this? I thoroughly thought through this. I'm just not a one hit or one take wonder type of person streaming is more forgiving of mistakes but i feel like youtube videos are too. but i try to not have any sentences that don't make sense in my youtube videos because then people don't understand and they click off it's also a privacy thing because almost every time that i record there's people that come into my room and talk to me and i have to cut those conversations out so obviously you guys have no clue that any of this happens but that no cutting thing about streaming i feel like it's gonna be a lot of pressure knowing that people are gonna see my every here's minute. what needs to happen if you guys pressure me enough to do it it's hard for me to say no oh here's an update idea i think instead of just copying the color wheel you copy the color wheel and the material history is mid history is terrible the past is in the i agree see this is why i don't like putting fences they scare me i don't know how to put it nicely also there's a hole here how do i do it in a way that's like normal y'all skip school no because the problem with skipping school is that especially in high school is that then you have so much work to do after quiz average is insane 100 wow you also have an average of 100 in my quizzes except for one see so that's not what average means are you died again no wait 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 actually yes blue fishy oh my gosh you're always here i know you're watching this video blue fishy i love you you're here all the time like you're my biggest fan most Thank agents you. can pretty much do anything you know what it's a stereotype, but I will take the compliment. But also, I may or may not fall into the stereotype because I, I like, oh, well, I don't like math, but I'm good at math and I can play piano, which are the most common stereotypes. Most important question, can you cook rice? 
No, my mom cooks it. The speed of me trying to figure out from my brain and grabbing that info from my brain is the same speed as me searching. Can you up. make instant noodles? I can make instant noodles because the instructions are on the back of the cup or the packaging or whatever it is. You don't need to know how to make it. You just need to know how to read. And actually, no, you don't even need to know how to read. You just need to know how to look at images. You can cook anything and everything. I can cook an egg. Wait, wait, wait. That was not my biggest flex because I haven't done a face cam video in so long. If you've only watched my videos for the past two months, you don't know what it looked like. Unless, well, unless you've seen other videos. For people who don't know what I look like, I'm not faceless. I've done a face reveal. It's in my other videos. I just haven't done a face cam video in the past two months. What's your favorite scent? I can't smell. I'm really targeting my disability. I can't, I don't know. I can't smell. You haven't smelt Kayali vanilla? I haven't smelt anything. Do you know the reason? Not yet, but I do have a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna find out. Well, maybe. If the doctor knows. So you don't use body wash smelling lotion? No, no, no. Okay. I don't think I understand. But I still know that other people can smell me even if I can't smell me. So I still want to smell good. So you lost your sense of smell? Not really. I've never had a sense of smell. Am I, am I missing out on not being able to smell? Is this like something that you guys think about a lot? You want to do a beachy house with it's spring? I do any type of house anytime I want. Don't worry about the weather. The weather doesn't control you. I'm right. I know. I'm always right. I used to feel bad whenever I have to leave the server. But now I feel less bad. Which, okay. I still love you. But the reason I feel less bad is because you can come back anytime and I can come back anytime. So it's not like farewell, you know? Like I used to when I have to go, I would say bye to people for like 10 minutes. But now if I gotta go, I'm, I'm stern about it. I gotta go. <laughs> but then I usually tell people when I'm gonna come back. Like I'm gonna come back in an hour. I'm gonna come back in two hours. Like people so know. So it makes up for me no longer feeling bad about Look, it. There's so many stairs. But the reason I made it so shallow is so that I can like, calculate. Cause right now it's like, like look beside the one, it's ex exactly 11. But if I make it at like 0.9, then every increment is 0.6. So then I have to calculate. So point six, So then this one has to be 0.3. Never thought I'd be doing math for a video game. Okay, maybe I should have painted this before I copy and pasted everything. That would have been slightly smarter, but I'm not the brightest. The way my desk is set up, I have a shelf that's like the left side of me, like the bottom left side of me. And so what I've been doing is I've been putting my legs on this shelf as like a, uh, what is it called? A, foot holder, stander, whatever it's called. But after a while putting my leg on there, because the shelf is hard, the heels of my foot start hurting. So I'm like, what do I do? And so here's where the genius seat comes in. Cause as we both know, I'm a genius. Right? I got a pillow, I got it from our couch and I put it on the shelf. So now I am currently putting my leg on the pillow. And ever since then, it doesn't hurt anymore. Why is this material matte and this material shiny? I want this material over here. What material is this? How do I, is it not highlighted? How do I see what material this is? Oh, it's plastic. Okay, I need that. It, it was right there. Biggest pet peeve. It's not really a pet peeve. It's just a little bit annoying. I think there should be a minimum walking speed. Cause I'm trying to get to places. And if you're walking slowly either, okay, either walk at the very, very, very side, like you're hugging the wall or walk faster. I don't know. There's no reason for you to be walking that slow. I don't care if you're talking to your friend. You can both walk faster. It's like an IQ test, guys. Like a real one. Well, I don't know if it's real, but it looks pretty real. It's not one of those random 20 questions one where they make you pay. Here's why I think it's real. There's multiple people that said that this test is reliable and they said that this test is real. The one I took is called Kate. And how this test works is that it is basing off of another IQ test that is supposedly one of the most reliable tests ever. The other thing is that this test takes you quite a while to do. It took me a good hour to do, and there's, it's not one test. It's, it has a bunch of different tests and a bunch of different categories. I'll link the test down below. So that if you guys want to do it, you guys can do so it. So there is seven tests in total split into four categories. And then there's a general ability category. And there's a full scale IQ category. So the first category is verbal comprehension. And for this, category i had to take a vocabulary test and knowledge test it's a hard test but i think the reason it's hard is because they want to measure the people who have like 200 iq which is obviously not me so for the verbal comprehension category my iq is 108 and if you don't know how iq works 100 is average the second category is a perceptual reasoning so for this test the two tests that i had to do was puzzle and figure weight so for that my iq is 132 130 is a genius so when it comes to perceptual reasoning, I'm literally a genius. The next category is cognitive proficiency. This category, the two tests I had to do was digit span and symbol search. Digit span, 
is memorizing numbers. It's it's pretty hard. I did pretty bad in it. With symbol search, there were symbols and then a list, and you could see if that symbol was in that list. It's basically how fast you are. So for cognitive proficiency, my IQ was 122. It could have been higher. Like I feel like I'm good at this stuff. Apparently, not as good as I thought it was gonna be. The next one is visual spatial index. For this one, the two tests I had to take was puzzles and block design. This one, I had an IQ of 143. I'm like so genius, um, more than a genius in this area, which I know I'm good at visualizations and imagining things, which is exactly what these tests are. So this wasn't really a surprise. Well, 143 was a surprise. I didn't know it was me that high. For my general ability, this one includes the vocabulary test, the knowledge test, the puzzle test, and the figure weights test. For this, my IQ is 122. And then now we have my full scale IQ. So this is all the tests I did except for block design because that one is optional. And so my final unofficial IQ is 126. I'm four IQ scores away from a genius. A Bloxburg is a free game soon it is. You're kind of slow on the news. I'm afraid it might turn to Brookhaven. No, because... A lot of people in Bloxburg, they build in Bloxburg, you can't build in Brookhaven. Oh my gosh, I just had a revelation. The reason people don't roleplay in Bloxburg anymore is because of Brookhaven's popularity. And Brookhaven's a mainly roleplay game, so if people want to roleplay, they just go to Brookhaven. If people want to build, they just come to Bloxburg. Oh my gosh, I, I just had a revelation. That's why no one roleplays anymore. Forget that it's a dirt stain. If you look at it, it looks modern. Like, it looks good. What's the most trouble you've ever gone to school? I've talked about this before. I've cheated on a test in third grade and I got caught. Well, I didn't cheat though. I helped someone else cheat. Do I like Sabrina Carpenter? The only thing I know about Sabrina Carpenter, and this could be wrong, so sorry if it's wrong to the Taylor Swift fans. I think she was in the Eros tour a little bit, maybe. And I know about the nonsense outros. I don't know if that's related to the Eros tour, but I know that she has a different nonsense outro every single show. And those are kind of fun because I see shorts of that all the time. And that's the only thing I know about Oh, her. I also know that she was a Broadway actress. I've been watching a lot more streams lately. I've probably talked about streaming and streams way too much this entire video. But whatever I talk about in my videos, it's probably been what's on my mind for the past week or so. So you always know what's on my mind. Okay, when I say I watch streams, I don't, I watch watch vods of streams but the reason i watch vods first of all you usually don't watch the entire stream because i just want to watch i like just chatting streams and sometimes a little bit of minecraft depending on what it is and also because i have to watch streams in a 1.5 times speed one time speed is just so slow when i get too bored for slow speakers i've started watching videos on 1.75 times speed because here's my goal eventually i want to be able to listen so fast that i can watch videos at two times speed just imagine the time that i'd be able to save like i'd be able to consume so much more content and so little less wait so much less time tesla is it fancy to watch on my tv to sleep yes sometimes i want to watch a video on youtube but later so i'll click on the video and then watch a little bit of it like literally just one second so that it goes to my history and so then later when i want to watch it i just go back to my history i want to be like you when i grow up bro i wanted to be like me when i was young test you're the reason why i want to be a structural engineer or architect that is so cool because Bloxburg is the reason why i want to do interior design Bloxburg has changed our lives guys how do you build so good tesla it wasn't good if you look at my first builds from like three years ago you can basically see my entire evolution of my builds it's so different it used to be so bad if you guys watch shorts reels and tiktok like me do you guys watch different platforms for different content so for me the three different platforms have three different purposes did you guys see the discord loot box video the one that has over 1 billion views and got posted yesterday for april Fools? i saw a video talking about the discord loot box video and they were like this video is the new youtube record for most views in 24 hours. And they showed us 600 million views at the time. Now it's over 1 billion I'm views. like, oh my gosh, if a 600 million views, how come I didn't see that on my recommended all day yesterday? And so when I saw the video and I saw that it was only 18 seconds, I thought that it's 18 seconds. So it must've been like, you know, just people are rewatching. But here's what actually happened. Discord view bought it accidentally. Basically Discord linked that YouTube video on their Discord app so that anyone who has that Discord app open is subconsciously playing that video in the background over and over and over again. So even though I didn't necessarily watch the video, I contributed to like probably a hundred of the views because I just have Discord open. And the video is only 18 seconds, so they just replay it over and over again. They're gonna get so many views. Do you ever think back at conversations you had earlier in the day? and be like, oh my gosh, I should have said this, or oh my gosh, I should have said like, that. Like, it would make the conversation funnier. And it's not even like an argument. It's just a random conversation. I feel like this fits with my personality, with the personality test that I did. Do you film on certain days or is it random? I like to tell people I film on weekends, but it's just not true because 
I usually start film on weekends for like this video. This is day three of me building this. So kind of. Usually you'll see me on the weekends. Been here all along, so why can't you see? You belong with me. You belong with me. Maybe the title was Modern Tiny Home 85k Bloxburg Roblox No Multiple Fours. Oh my gosh, that is so long. You're wrong. This looks like an ice cream sandwich. You have the cracker here, the cracker here, and you have the ice cream in the middle. Akiar, it's her twin. Wait, is someone actually my twin? Hold on. <gasps> Wait, stop. Stella, you're actually my twin. Why is your hair gray? Are you saying I'm getting old? Oh, because you're my older sister? How old is my older sister? Like freaking 94? There's this one time I forgot to click record for an entire build. And so now I get so scared that I forgot to click record. I just checked it. It was recording. But every time I click the app to go check that I'm recording, my heart skips a beat. <laughs> it's like, it's PTSD. You don't go to school in April because of the eclipse. Wait, the solar eclipse? This might sound so dumb, but I swear to God, at one point, someone told me that the solar eclipse only happens like every hundred years. Do you guys know what word hunt is? I'm actually so good at the game. It's not even funny. Well, I'm not so good at it, but I usually win. If you don't know what word hunt is, it's a game on your phone where you basically have to find words on a grid. I realize probably no one knows what this game is, and I'm talking to a very specific group of people here. I'd say I average around 15k, because some boards are really good and some boards are really bad. Like, if it's a bad board, it could be 4k. And if it's a good board, the highest I've ever gotten is, I think, 36k. There was one point in my life, like last year, I would send the game to myself and I would play by myself. So now I beat my friends. In case you're wondering. Super Cali Fragilis Expialidocious. Oh my gosh, I know how to spell that and you spelt it wrong. I actually know how to sing it, but I'm not gonna sing it right now. Okay, fine, I'll say it. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C E X P I A L I D O C I O U S. There you go. It's kind of a cool color. Look at the blue and the light. It's like a neon blue that looks really pretty. Not for this build, but could be really pretty for another build. Oh my gosh, I just realized this wall looks infinitely empty. Look, I don't know what kind of townhouse this is, but what if I just put windows on both sides? I know this was supposed to be a townhouse, but look, it just looks so much more open. You have so much more natural light. Look, it's my build. I can do whatever for I want. For some reason, I get my hygiene up by pooping. If that wasn't in Bloxburg, it would sound so wrong. Like, what are some Bloxburg only lingo? Because there has to be some, right? Like, is build a Bloxburg lingo? Like, Sims and Bloxburg lingo? In real life, you wouldn't call it building a build. You would call it, like, a, a building or a, a structure. Plan to add fence gates? Should I? Fence gates just adds better security. It's Bloxburg. No one cares. Oh, wait. This is kind of cool. Okay, I actually don't like the lights. I feel like it fantasizes thing. You know, this build isn't supposed to be, like, a fantasy build. So here is the final townhouse. Imagine there's a house number here. You're gonna have to really imagine. First, we have fences. I don't think I've ever done fences because I feel like it just looks bad, but this one actually doesn't look that bad. And then we have a swing that doesn't swing. Oh, it does swing. And through this little pathway, we have our entrance to the grand house. So grand. First, we have our living room. High ceiling, very high ceiling. And then we have the dining room and the kitchen. The kitchen, this is probably the tiniest kitchen I've ever done in a house that's like this size. It's literally just four blocks. And then here we have our bathroom, a normal looking bathroom. We have a toilet, a shower, a bathtub, and a sink. And then up to this stairs, you have to go really careful because there's no railings, but it's custom stairs. So it's kind of hard to do railing. We have a little tiny seating area with a TV. And then we have our bed. I feel like this bed looks better when it's messy like this. Before I forget, the total house value of this is 95K. I don't know what I was expecting, but 95K for a build this tiny, is kind of expensive. But at the same time, a lot of this was basic shape. Like this entire staircase was just all basic shit. If you just do a normal stare, it's gonna save you so much money. Click here to subscribe, then click here to see more of my Bloxburg builds. See you there.